YouTube, it's the Brick Adjuster here with another LEGO tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys all the tips and tricks of how to feel through all the Series 16 CMF packs. So here we go, enjoy! Before we start, I'm going to go through some basics, some basic things you have to feel and actually ignore. So every blind bag will have a little plate like this, so when you feel it, just ignore it. You'll feel for legs. And if it's wiggly like that, you'll know it's a big person's legs. If it's not wiggly, then it's probably a short person. There's only two short people in this series. Then you'll feel a torso. Also ignore the torsos. And ignore all the heads because you won't be able to distinguish them if you feel any of these pieces. Basically, you'll be looking for the accessories. First up, we have the Ice Queen. And this is probably the easiest minifigure to feel for. All you have to feel for is the dress. This blocky piece here is easy to find in the blind bag. Next up is the Arabian Knight. And the dead giveaway here is the sword. You'll feel the bottom part of the sword first and then you can feel the blade as well. So look for the sword in the blind bag. Next up we have the Cyborg. And the giveaway for the Cyborg would be the gun. The gun without the stud. So I can feel the gun in the pack, so this should be easy to feel. The stud, you can feel the stud, but then also the wildlife photographer also has a stud as well. So that might be hard to distinguish, except for the wildlife photographer also has a camera. But you can also feel for the armor or the shoulder pads. So this might be a giveaway. So shoulder pads and the gun. Next up is the Imp. And there's a couple things here you can feel for that are giveaways. You can feel for the pitchfork. So that was easy to feel. And then you can also feel the wings were very distinguishable as well. So you'll feel slopes here for the wings and they're pretty hard. But also you can also feel for legs, short legs. So you'll feel little knobs here and it's not going to be wiggly so short legs plus wings plus the fork pitch fork also i guess you can also feel this the handle of the pumpkin the pumpkin might be mixed up with a head so i wouldn't go with that but this could be easily felt for its 90 degree angles here here is the spooky boy and there's a couple things you can feel for for this I was able to feel the spider pretty easily. You can feel the little legs here. And then you can feel for the book. It's not like the tiles, the 2x2 two two tiles. This is actually a rectangle shape. And you can feel for that inside the pack. So spider and book. Next up is the hiker. And for the hiker, first you'll feel the tile, the 2x2 two two tile right away. But then the pirate also has a 2x2 two two tile. So you'll have to look for a 2x2 tile plus a backpack if you are looking for the hiker. Or you can rule out that um, no sword because the pirate has a sword. So 2x2 tile and backpack. Here is the wildlife photographer and the giveaway here is her camera. So the camera could be felt under the pack because the handle here you'll feel is at a funny angle plus you'll feel for a stud you might think that this headpiece here might be easy to feel as well but you could mix it up with the penguin not this penguin the penguin suit guy you might mix it up with I wasn't able to feel this penguin it's hard to feel look for the camera and the stud for the wildlife photographer here we have the kickboxer and the giveaway for the kickboxer is the hair. This is the only one that has a ponytail, a long ponytail. And you can feel this hair piece pretty easily under the pack. Plus you'll feel for this cylinder piece and for the longest time I was wondering what that was for and it's actually just to hold the headgear. But cylinder piece and hair with the ponytail. Here's the pirate and the pirate, the giveaway, one of the giveaways is the 2x2 two two tile there, but you'll also feel for the sword. So this is, you'll feel like the little end there plus a short little skinny blade. You might be able to feel for this as well, the little bald piece, but I couldn't feel it. 
I was just looking for the sword and the 2x2. Two two. Here we have the penguin suit guy. And for the penguin suit guy, the first thing you're going to feel for are short little legs. And then when you can't feel the wings, you know it's not the imp. Plus you might be able to feel for this very smooth headpiece. So short legs, smooth headpiece, and no wings and no staff. So it's not the imp, it's the penguin. Next up, it's the Rogue. And the Rogue has a couple things to feel for. First thing is the bow and arrow. So this is pretty easy. You can even feel the outline of this under the pack. And you'll also feel for the quill and the case where the little arrows can go on. You'll feel for this top piece and then a little rectangular piece, skinny rectangular piece as well. But right away, once you feel this, you know it is the Rogue. Here is the Dog Show Judge. And you'd think you'd be able to feel for the dog, but I didn't feel the dog. I felt the trophy right away. You can feel the handlebars of the trophy and then the skinny neck of the trophy. So the trophy is the dead giveaway for the judge. You'll feel that right away. Here is the serenader and this is a very easy one to feel for. Right away you'll feel for the big humongous hat. So this hat is a very definite shape and you'll feel this right away. Guitar, I wasn't really able to feel for the guitar. Well maybe if I stayed longer but once I felt for the hat I knew it was a serenader. So I already put the pack down. Here is the spy and there's a couple things to feel for. For the spy you can feel for this rope. It's a circular piece and it's very bendy. So you can feel for that. Also you can feel for this gun which feels different from the cyborg's gun. You'll feel a very skinny nose there and a handle. And then you can also feel for the goggles which might confuse you with the pumpkins, uh, the jack-o'-lantern pumpkin handle but you'll be able to feel kind of like little ends here with the circular goggles. Here is another easy minifigure to feel for and it's the banana suit guy and there's five in a box so you'll be able to get this one quite easily if you go through a new box but the easy thing to feel for is obviously the big banana piece which curves and you can even feel the bottom part like that under the pack so look for this big huge banana piece for the banana suit guy and lastly we have the babysitter or the teen mom and you'd think that it's the baby to feel for but it's pretty hard to feel for this tiny little baby head and the baby body so what i felt for was the baby bottle so you'll feel for the cylinder piece with a little nozzle at the end and just to make sure, the hair piece, you'll feel the ponytails, which is kind of like Harley Quinn's new hair piece, but this has ponytails and you'll be able to feel for this hair piece. So baby bottle and hair piece for the babysitter, AKA the teen mom. So this concludes this Lego tutorial for today. This is the Brick Adjuster signing off. Thanks for watching and we will see you guys in another video. Bye.